Hello and welcome to Ivy Times TV. I'm Marisa Christian. An outbreak of the deadly Ebola virus has killed 14 people in Uganda. Uganda's Ministry of Health said on Monday that initially the outbreak went undetected because patients did not show typical symptoms. There is no treatment and no vaccine against Ebola, which is transmitted by close personal contact, and depending on the strain, kills up to 90 percent of those who contract the virus. Symptoms include sudden onset of fever, intense weakness, muscle pain, headache and sore throat, followed by vomiting, rashes, impaired kidneys and liver function, and both internal and external bleeding. The death toll still remains at 14, with only three confirmed to have died of Ebola. There are seven suspected cases admitted at Kagadi District Hospital and are responding well to the treatment and support given to them. Other people who got into contact with the dead have not reported any signs of the disease so far, but con we continue to monitor them very, very closely. Efforts are underway to contain the spread. So far we have 34 contacts of health workers from the hospital. These are being traced who have had ever come in contact with the patients. But then the community tracing is also beginning. So as my colleagues mentioned, the number will keep increasing as we trace the contacts more. The suspected Ebola infections emerged in early July in the Kabale district, roughly 100 miles west of the capital, but the outbreak was not confirmed until Friday. Kabale is also the birthplace of the virus, which took its name from the Ebola River, nearby where it emerged in 1976. Ebola was last reported in Uganda in May of last year when it killed a 12-year-old girl. The country's most devastating outbreak was in 2000, when 425 people were infected and more than half died. Marisa Christian, Ivy Times TV.